All right, and welcome to part three of of Guardians of the Galaxy episode five. Don't no way. I don't know what it is, but fuck. All right, guys. So let's get ship, this or I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's got to be a weak spot or two we can exploit. That's as good a place to start as any. And it's the only plan we've got. Paula isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot. Did I actually understand the talking truly now? Hey, Gamora. Hey. I wanted to thank you again. What you said back at that training hall, I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. Well, uh, thanks for not killing me. <laughs> oh, come on. I wasn't actually going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, you could have fooled me. So, what was on your mind? So, um... I think that we should, you know, maybe talk. Just to talk about, you know... <laughs> you... And... Uh, me... <laughs> I mean... I just care for you. A lot. I know. Oh, you, you do? Aww. Uh, okay. Uh, so... How do you feel? Oh, God. Pierre, I... Yeah, I, I uh, just, um... Maybe... Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll just, uh, put a pin right in it. Just, just, <laughs> just, that's, uh, yeah, that's yeah, the pin sure, sure. Yeah, we'll just, uh, you just in put the, it. uh, yeah, just for later. I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Good. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. <laughs> See you in a bit. Relax. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. You for do. what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that, I am deeply sorry. No. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted, Drax. Don't worry about it. Good. Now let us repress these feelings and never speak of them again. <laughs> I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm, how'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. How the hell did you get out of there? Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. 
I was forced to swim through bile. Gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged moist, reeking. Oh, yes. God. I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. I'm sorry we left you for dead. I do not blame you for your ineptitude. I also thought I was bound to die. It was a reasonable misunderstanding. You ready for one last battle? I do not believe this will be our last battle. But for Hala, it will be. Later, Drax. What happens later? What an idiot. How's it going, Bowie? No, oh, it's a good boy. Or girl. Do space worms even have a gender? Talk to Mantis. Oh, hello, Peter. Is something wrong? No. Well, this isn't the way I imagined the prophecy of the Celestial One to turn out. On one hand, you destroyed the Eternity Forge, which I think was the right call. You do? But on the other hand, Hala is a horrible monster now. What if the prophecy is wrong? I'm afraid no matter what I do, I can't escape the Forge. I was sure that when the Celestial One chose the fate of the Forge, I would finally find peace. Hey, look at me. We are going to fix this, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Peter. Was there something you wanted to ask? How are you holding up? It's not easy. I can feel every life Hala takes. Now that she's merged with the Forge's power, I'm okay for now. But it takes a lot of energy out of me. Once this is all over, I'll be much better. Don't say what? I'm glad you're back with us, Mantis. Honestly, I'm glad too. I'm sorry I left before. I was just caught up in the moment, and the strain was too much on my emotions. I know it wasn't for very long, but being alone and surrounded by strangers was overwhelming. If Groot hadn't found me, I don't know what I would have done. Once this is all over, what are you gonna do? I hadn't considered it. I think maybe what I'd like to travel. Consider? There's so much I never got to experience when I was locked away. It would be exciting to live my own life instead of laying down inside a box. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. Okay, so let's go talk to the rodent. Man, I, I miss my table here. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. I do not. You cheated. Nowhere, my <laughs> Thanks for showing me your memory. It put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. 
You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. <laughs> what you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. I mean, we'll still have to deal with Hala herself. Okay. Now you have my attention. Yeah. Right. So, far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, here, here. And here. That's as far as I've got. Okay. So lay it on me. What do you want to know? Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship's system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. Okay. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. Oh. Because somebody decided to destroy the Eternity Forge, those meat freezers are offline. And all that power is getting diverted to the super weapon. Big old hallway like this? Great place for a distraction. What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kind of like the hard drive for the ship. If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. Is that the weapon? Right. I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this. These points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. How careless. Sounds like a challenge. But I think we're up to the task. If by we, you mean you. Then yes, we are. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. <laughs> Thanks! Just finish before that happens. We oh, need it's... our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Well, that doesn't sound much different from our usual plans. Doesn't. Yeah, it's becoming our signature style. <laughs> Don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Well, we haven't died yet. No, oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. That just might be the most insane thing you've said yet. Why, thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief. And me. Oh, baby, am I looking forward to this? You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you. I am good. Hey, Pete. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I was glad to have you at my side when everything was going wrong. Hey, I don't need you getting mushy on me, too. Groot already fills that role nicely. But you're welcome. You and Groot make up? Is the dream team back together? Yeah, we sat down and talked it out. I think we both said stuff we regretted. But we're good now. I am Groot. <laughs> back at you, buddy. 
Are you sure this plan is gonna work? Nope. But I'm okay with that this time. You guys got my back, and that's all I need. All right, the time. Got a roll in mind for you, Rocket. Oh yeah. I want you to hack the computer. Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I am Groot. Really? Pete got in touch with his feelings? That actually worked? I am Groot. <laughs> Go ahead. What do I... What can I use the computer for? Oh. No, thanks. I am Groot. Groot, you shall be... Um... If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. Huh, protect the hacker, refuse the helmet, create a distraction. Groot is gonna create a distraction. You're gonna infiltrate the bridge. Ho oh, oh, ho, I am Groot. Uh, not sure Groot should be going off on his own, but you're in charge. I believe in you, Groot. See you around, buddy. I am Groot. So, Drax is gonna be the protector. It streams to have so many on the Milano. Hey, Drax. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I just gotta divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. Yes. You're on protection duty. Make sure no one gets to the computer. Yes. I will defend that inanimate piece of machinery with all of my strength. <laughs> because I am invincible, nothing will stand in my way. Later, Drax. <laughs> later. What happens later? <laughs> oh my god. So, Rocket has this plan. A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So what role do I play in this disaster? Disaster? You're sneaky. So, why don't you stealth down there and steal Hollis' helmet? Her helmet? All right. Sounds like a challenge. Leave it to me, Peter. All right, the plan's all Looks like Holla just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hollis ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hollis' face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. Alright guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects. Alright? Alright, and until the next time, bye-bye.